Hey Jim, welcome to Treasure Gems by Felicia Jarrell. I'm a wife of 10 years, mother of two, and owner of a multi six figure brand, Gold Mine and Coco. So, why am I here? Well, at only 30 years old, I have picked up gems along the way in regards to life, love, business, and everything in between. It's time that I share them with you. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, so listen. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you on this first podcast and tell you that I have no idea what I am doing. I have been sitting on wanting to do a podcast for at least a year now, and I just simply decided one day I'm turning 30. I'm going to do it. Let's go for it. And I hope that in some shape, form or fashion, it blesses those that come across my channel. I did choose a topic for today, and that topic is chapter 30, I'm Choosing Me. Um, The last decade of my life um, has been dedicated solely to my family. Uh, If you don't know me, here's a little bit about me. I got married at 20 to my high school, middle school sweetheart. Uh, We gave birth to two incredible children, When I was 23 and again, when I was 27, I have survived infertility um, and life has just been insane the last 10 years, to say the least. I mean, in your 20s, you're figuring out who you are and then you add on to that being a wife, being a mom, being a daughter, being a friend, um, learning how to say no and learning how to say yes to the things that you want. Um, I recently started therapy uh, about two weeks ago because I just made a decision that I didn't want my 30 to 40 to look like my 20 to 30. Um, You know, when you're just in this phase of life where before you know it, you don't know what the heck you're doing. You're like, oh, my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to survive today. I don't know if I'm going to eat tomorrow. You know, there's just so many different factors. Um, You don't have money in your 20s for the most part, unless you were taught at an early age how to save, how to invest, and your parents set you up really nicely. Um, You're pretty much broke by broke, right? And so my 20s have taught me so much. There's been so many incredible lessons. I think one of the greatest blessings of my 20s, though, was starting my business. Um, When I was 27, right after I had my daughter, I decided that I was going to start a business. And this was not an easy decision because I didn't even know I was going to make the decision. I um All I knew was I could not go back to working where I was. That was the only answer I had. And so I was applying for all of these, you know, customer service, stay at home jobs and all of that type of stuff. And I had a friend suggest, why don't you do what you love? And I'm going to tell y'all, I thought she was insane because I was like, what do you mean? I'm a wife. I'm a mom. That's what I love. I love my husband. I love my kids. And she was like, no, do what you love. Um, And she revealed to me that I pretty much played in planners and stickers and all of that all day. That was just what I did. I love to create I love to see what I could put together, the end result of things. Um, And so she encouraged me. I had already kind of had the name a year prior um, because me and my cousin were going to open a shop as a side hustle. And so I went to my cousin and I was like, hey, I think I'm ready to pursue this. Can I keep the name? Like, I want to pay homage to you. I know you're busy, but I'd really like to keep this name. And she obliged. Um, and so that was great. And a week later, I was open. <laughs> I was open. And I can say God has ordered my footsteps from the moment I've opened up until this point, there's been some 
um, mountains to climb. There's been some downward spirals. There's been some celebrations, of course. Um, lots of lots of lessons learned. Lots of things that I want to share with you guys. I want to share with you guys um, what I'm learning through therapy as well. As I go through this therapy journey, I want to be able to share that with you guys. I want to share with you what I've learned about marriage and love and all of that. Me and my husband will be celebrating 10 years this month. And it has been an incredible journey. Um, and every time somebody asks me like, oh my gosh, y'all are, y'all are, you know, still together. That's great. I'm like, yep, we haven't killed each other yet. Um, <laughs> I want to be able to share that. I want to be able to share crazy stories about my children because, listen, my children are hilarious. So I want to be able to share stories about my children and just my journey and things that I'm learning along the way. And I hope that in some shape, form or fashion, it inspires, it encourages you and it pushes you to push past your own fears and move towards your goals. So one of the things that I mean, when I say I'm choosing 30, I'm choosing, I'm choosing 30, I'm choosing me. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm not the editing girl, so I will make mistakes and you will get the mistake edited version unless it's super, super bad. But um, mm, the way my life is set up, I don't have time to edit. So um, what I mean when I say I'm choosing me chapter 30 I've done the work with my husband. I've done the work with my family. I've done the work with my friends. I've done the work with my children. The one thing that I have been stagnant on in life is doing the work with me, doing the work inside of me to make sure that I'm a whole healthy individual and that the work that I'm putting in and out to the world is not being done in vain. So some things that I'm going to do this year is I I recently turned 30 on New Year's Day. I'm going to be selfish with my time. I'm going to say no to them and yes to me, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have girls nights. I'm going to have more date nights. I'm going to turn my damn phone off. You know, <laughs> I think that's going to be one of the biggest things that I do this year. Um, I have certain things on my phone now where my phone automatically goes on do not disturb at a certain time so that I can get the work done. I can't always work when I'm on my phone. So I'm going to turn my damn phone off. I'm also going to share with you guys tangible tools like productive challenges, 30 day focus challenges, how to develop an effective system to your planning. All of those things I'm going to share with you all on this journey. And I hope that you come back and just <laughs> embrace me love on me, show me a little grace and allow me to do the same with you guys. Always give me feedback. Always share your comments. All criticism is good criticism. Um, I actually thrive off criticism. So <laughs> don't think you can't say anything to me. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm taking this leap of faith. I don't know if this is a good or a bad podcast, but it is what it is. And so I'm putting it out there in the world and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>